Where do we have to do this? We are off to the bottom. The fiberglass roof. Look at that tree. It was a bit windy up here yesterday. Must have been another storm tonight. Yep, but we're off to the farm. Yes, we're off to the farm. I'm quite stressed. She's got to drive and we roads like this for the first time in the big van. Scary times. Where we're going, I think, is it? Yep. There's Janet <laughs> on the YouTube. <laughs> We're getting up on the roof. We say we love, we say we love. We gave it all, we gave it all. We say we love, we say we love. We were just in a stream until. Something that it came along Sharon's handwriting all the bare metal that she's already wired brushed back. Sharon's done some stuff today. Yep, Sharon's actually worked today. The van's had a right good clean as well. This, well, you'll see in the video, this roof was bogging. Look, he's doing the Duke's Pass. Yep. Proper. The biggest, scariest road. Round about us. So. And can you see the lovely weather now? I think we're work today is going to be ruined. Yep. The fiberglass was dry before we left. I don't know if we'll still be driving till we get home. Yesterday we did loads of work in the van, but in all honesty we thought we'd messed it up because we didn't check the weather and it was torrential rain as we were driving home. So we did fiberglass, we let it go off, it was set hard and then we drove home in torrential rain but luckily it still stayed hard. We also had a leak coming down here. Feeling chuffed that we're actually getting somewhere again with the van. The leaks were making us a bit panicky there, we're thinking this could take months but we had torrential rain last night, I came in this morning, the van was bone dry. I don't think we can do better than that. Today we are going to fiberglass the holes that have appeared when I wire brushed the rust. What we need is some of this. Resin. To be honest, I'm going to have to guess this. I think I'll finish the tin. So it should be three drops to every hundred. Three drops of hardener every hundred drops of resin. Right, now we need to cut some sheets of fiberglass. One more.
That'll be way too much hard on, but I'm wanting it to go off quick. So I've added a bit more than I needed to. Right, so we've cleaned the area with acetone and now I'm going to put some resin over the area. So Xander scared of the van, Buffy thinks it's an assault course, she will probably jump over these seats in a minute. Oh no, she's spotted a dog. And the poor boy, this is all, he's he's so scared. And there she goes. Who wants a cuddle? Whoa! Yeah, you want a cuddle. Xander, do you want a cuddle? And no, you need to come over that way. Look here. And come over. <laughs> right, there we go. Is that he's all happy now? No, really. You love the man, don't you, Mars? You love it. You'll get used to it. But, as you can see, this is why the dogs don't come over and do any work in the van. Because you're a nightmare, yes. Today we are sanding down the fibre van. Getting this ready to take. for the back door. Fingers crossed, it fits. It does fit. We've painted up there today, you can see it's going to need another coat. There as well, that'll need another coat. But that is all the van, totally watertight. Apart from that back door seal, which is getting done on Sunday. But it's a bit of a mess under there, so we need to tidy that up, repaint it, and then wait in that drying floor we can put the seal on, so we need a full day for that. And a full day of nice weather. Not like this. Let's see if it's snow or if it's just rain. It's a wee bit snowy.